All right, guys, this is the time to solve few questions which have been asked in previous exams. And let's see, let's apply the knowledge. So here, if VE and VO represent escape velocity and orbital velocity of a satellite corresponding to a circular orbit of radius r, then let's talk about the formula. So, we know it very well, the escape velocity is given by VE as equal to under root 2GR and orbital velocity VO is given as under root GR. We have already studied that orbital velocity is under root GR when we are close to the surface of Earth. So, if we compare that means VE is equal to under root 2 into and this value of GR we can put V orbital. Now, if we look at the close examination, we realize that this is the correct option. Now, let us talk about this question that an earth satellite of mass m revolves in a circular orbit at a height h from the surface of earth. If r is the radius of the earth and g is the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of earth, the velocity of the satellite in the orbit is given by. So, we know it very well. The satellite is getting centripetal force which is equal to mv square over r plus h and that is obtained from the gravitational force as g m m over r plus h square. So, if we simplify this get cancelled and this also get cancelled here. So, v square is equal to g m over r plus h, but we know it very well g m is equal to that is equal to g r square over r plus h. So, the value of v it definitely is under root, the value of v will be under root g r square over r plus h. So, what I can see that option d is the, this fellow is the correct option. Now, let us talk about a satellite which is a geostationary in a particular orbit is taken to another orbit. Its distance from the center of earth in new orbit is two times than that of earlier. So, time period in the second orbit is and then we need to find out. What we know and what we have seen that the square of the time period is directly proportional to the distance, cube of the distance. All right. So, the time period will be directly proportional to the r raised to the power 3 by 2. Now, if we see that the distance from the center of earth in new orbit is 2 times. Distance from the center of earth in the new orbit is 2 times. So, this r is 2 times. All right. And then we can write like this. All right. So, this 2 can be written as under root 2 whole square and this can be written as 3 by 2. Well, now this get cancelled. So, under root 2 raised to the power 3 which is nothing but 2 root 2. So, what we say that the time period will be 2 root 2 times. We know it very well the time period of geostationary satellite, the time period nu will be 2 time, uh, two root 2 times the time period of geostationary satellite which is 24 hours. Sorry, yeah, it is 24 hours. So, the will it will be 48 under root 2 hours and now we can see the option that B is the correct option. Well, these are pretty straightforward questions and uh, which you should be able to uh, realize and you should be able to correlate. So, a geostationary satellite revolves around or about the polar axis. Well, suppose this is earth here and these are the axis. 
So, geostationary satellite revolves in the equatorial plane about the axis, has a time period less than that of the near earth satellite, is a stationary in space, yes, moves faster. It is not a stationary, actually it moves, it appears to be stationary, all right, moves faster than the near earth satellite, well, has a time period less than that of the near earth satellite and revolves about the polar axis. I think this is the correct option because this is the axis and it is going to revolve like this about the polar axis. So, now let us talk about this question. Uh, the orbital velocity of an artificial satellite in a circular orbit just above the surface of earth is v. For a satellite orbiting at an altitude of half of the earth's radius will be and then we need to figure it out. So, the formula is v is equal to under root the orbital velocity is under root g m over r and r that is a small r is r plus h. So, when you are at the close surface say this is v 1 that is under root g m over r. Why? Because we can say r plus h is close to r. Then v 2 at some distance is going to be g m and the distance is r plus the distance is r by 2 or simply we can write like this that is g m and this r plus 1 by 2 r. So, that is that is actually 3 by 2 r or we can write like this 2 by 3 into g m over r. And if we see carefully, this g m over r is v 1. Okay. So, under root 2 by 3 and v, that is the correct option. Now, let us talk about this question, which says that uh, orbital velocity of an artificial satellite does not depend. Well, we need to find v o and this is v o is equal to under root uh, g r. Mass of the earth, yes, it depends on the mass of the earth. Mass of the satellite, yes, it does not depend on the mass of the satellite. So, this is incorrect, rest all are correct option. So, for a satellite, escape velocity is 11 meter per second. If the satellite is launched at an angle of 60 degree with the vertical, then escape velocity, well, the escape velocity v e is equal to under root 2 g r and it does not depend at which angle we are launching the satellite. So, the speed remains same. This seems to be quite interesting question. The mean radius of the earth is r, its angular speed on its own axis is omega and the acceleration due to gravity at the earth surface is g. The cube of the radius of the orbit of a geostationary satellite will be. So, let us talk about. So, orbital velocity is given as under root g m over r, but we know it very well the value of g m can be written as g r square over r. We also know that orbital velocity can be written as r omega v is equal to r omega and that is equal to g r square over r. r is the radius or r is the distance, the radius of the orbit of the geostationary satellite. Now, let me put the square. So, r square omega square is equal to g r square over r or if we come here, so, this is r cube omega square is equal to g r square or r cube will be g r square over omega square. So, here r is the radius of the orbit of a geostationary satellite and that will be equal to r square g by omega i k that is the correct option. Option d is the 
correct option. Now let us talk about this question that an artificial satellite is placed into a circular orbit around the earth at such a height that it always remains above the definite place on the surface of earth. That means it is a geostationary satellite. So, its height from the surface of earth you should know it very well that is equal to 36,000 kilometer. So, this is the correct option. We have already studied in previous video the height of a geostationary satellite from the surface of earth from the surface of earth is 36,000 kilometer. Now, let us have this question which says the two satellites A and B the ratios of masses 3 is to 1 are in a circular orbit of ready R and 4 R the ratio of total mechanical energy. Well, the total mechanical energy is given by E is equal to minus G m m over the distance and that is 2 r plus h. We can write like this or we can write like this minus g m m over 2 r where r is r plus h. A small r is capital R plus h and h is the height. The ratio of E 1 by E 2 will be well g m m these are all constant g m is this is constant, but this one is m 1 m 2 into r 2 by r 1. And if we say the masses are in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So, 3 by 1 into the radius r r and to 4 r. So, r 1 is r and into 4 r that is 4 r. Well, the ratio will be 12 is to 1 and the option D is correct option. A geostationary satellite is revolving around the earth to make it escape from the gravitational field its orbit should be well this is pretty simple that there is a relationship V escape is under root 2 into V O under root 2 we can put the value as 1 4 1 4 1 decimal 4 1 4 and V O. So, the increase in the speed must be V E minus V O divided by V O and that is 0 0.41 ok uh, let me just correct this 0 0.414 V O divided by V O. So, this is 0 0.414 and in percentage it will be 41.4 percent. So, option B is correct option. So, this is also a bit general knowledge question that to an astronaut in space the sky appears to be absolutely black. Now, let us discuss about these two questions and you can pause the questions and you can try to find the answer or let me explain. So, here find the distance of a geostationary satellite from the center of earth and that distance has to be found in terms of r where r is the radius of. So, we know it very well that the height of a geostationary satellite from the surface of earth is 36,000 kilometer that is the fact we should know. So, the total distance find the distance of the geostationary satellite from the center of earth. So, suppose this is the earth center and this is the geostationary satellite here. So, this height is given which is 36,000 and the radius is given as r. So, total height total distance total distance is going to be h plus r that is 36000 plus 6400 km so if we add together 0 0 and this is 4 this is 2 and this is 4 km and if I try to represent this in terms of uh, 
radius then i let me divide this by 6400 so this gets cancelled and if i divide this by 7 so that is around 7 r all right so this is the correct option now this is another problem that a satellite in a circular orbit of radius r has a time period of 4 hours a satellite with an orbital radius of 4 r around the same plane will have a time period of and then we need to calculate well you can pause the video and try to find the answer so let me give you the hint that t square is directly proportional to r cube where r is the distance from the center of the earth so okay so t2 by t1 square will be r2 by r1 cube all right so a satellite in a circular orbit of radius r has a time period of four hours so let me write here here the time period is four hours and the radius is r okay so r2 is 4 r t2 by t1 will be 4 and this we can write as 3 by 2 all right so 3 by 2 is uh, 2 raised to the power 2 into 3 by 2 that is 2 raised to the power 3 that is 8 so the value of uh, we can write here t2 is equal to t1 into 8 the value of t1 is given which is 4 hours 4 into 8 that is 32 hours that is option c that is the correct option